Hello there everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Johnny and I'll be your host today as we cover the duel between the Vlandian Banner Knights and the Imperial Elite Cataphract. The opinions are split up, many people suggest that Banner Knights are the best, well, others will always go with the Elite Cataphract. So in this video we are looking to clear the things up, but no matter the results you should always choose the unit that you like that you feel comfortable using. Today we will look at both their stats, armor, weapons and we will also put them to the duel. We will have 15 different battles on a flat terrain with 1 vs 1, 10 vs 10, 50 vs 50, 100 vs 100 and 300 vs 300 units, ladies and gentlemen. With the 3 different battle types. Number 1 will be when the first party charges while the other party stays on the defenses. Number 2 will be exactly like the first option but vice versa. And number 3 will be when both parties will charge each other. Without further ado, let's go ladies and gentlemen. Alright, in regards to their equipment I have added a list so we can compare both of them at the same time. In total the Banner Knights have an armor rating of 189 points while the Cataphracts have 204. A win for the Cataphracts. Now, comparing all of the armor parts side by side, the Banner Knights are better equipped with their foot and hand armor, while the Cataphracts win at head, body and cape armor. Both of them are doing pretty good in regards to armor, even though the Banner Knights are in disadvantage. In regards to their weapons, both units come with a sword, shield and a spear. Compared side to side, the Banner Knights lance is lighter and has better handling. Well, the Cataphracts lands win at length, trust damage and trust speed. In my opinion, having a weapon that's lighter and easier to maneuver, it's better, so I'll give a point to the Banner Knights. Their swords are almost the same, both of them have almost equal stats, but moving on, the Cataphracts win at the shield, having more hit points. In regards to their skills, both have almost identical skills, besides throwing, bow and crossbow that differs. However, this type of unit will never use that type of skills, so it's useless. Alright, now that we have checked them, let's put them to the battle and let's see who will be crowned as King of the Cavalry. Also, just before we move on, I would appreciate if you could just hit that subscribe button. Only 5% of you guys are subscribed and it would really help the channel a lot. I'm posting Mountain Blade 2 content regularly and so if you're a fan of Mountain Blade then this is the place for you. Thank you, let's continue.
Yeah. <laughs>